Well, good morning, folks, and uh, thanks for coming. Uh, it is a pleasure to join Stuart McNaughton, the Vice President of Valet's Newfoundland and Labrador Operations today, to participate in the announcement of amendments to the Voices Bay Development Agreement, amendments that further strengthen the original agreement and secure more benefits for the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Today's opportunity to make improvements to the development agreement arose because of the delayed construction schedule at the Long Harbor Nickel Processing Plant. Through the amended agreement, the provincial government has granted Valet further permission to continue to export nickel concentrate from the Voices Bay mine to ensure continuity of operations and to provide operational flexibility until the processing plant reaches full capacity. The provincial government has agreed to exempt an additional 94,000 tons of nickel in concentrate from the requirements for primary processing in the province. The total potential processing exemption is 633,000 tons of nickel in concentrate, including all exempted exports approved in the 2002 development agreement and all subsequent amendments. I want to be clear that all exempted concentrate will be replaced and processed in Long Harbor in future years. Without an additional exemption, we would witness a slowdown in production at the Voices Bay mine in Labrador and likely closure of the mine until the processing plant is completed. The amendment agreement will protect the employment of hundreds of people at Voices Bay. It has presented us with an opportunity to support Valley as well as to enhance benefits for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. As a result of this negotiated agreement, we will receive an estimated additional $200 million in compensation and Valet has committed to a $30 million contribution to community initiatives in the province. We have had discussions with Valet on the community initiatives. These discussions are continuing and options are being carefully considered in light of the current fiscal situation of the province. Valet's $30 million contribution to these community initiatives provides funding that we can strategically invest to benefit the people of the province for many years to come. The province has benefited greatly from the Long Harbor Project and will continue to do so for many years. Major progress continues to be made on the construction of the processing plant, including an event to celebrate first nickel production in November 2014, which our government had the privilege to attend. As stated by Premier Davis at that time, the Long Harbor Processing Plant is a leading edge of innovation. Its innovative processes were in part developed, tested, demonstrated, and proven right here in Newfoundland and Labrador. The processing plant will be an important asset in our province for generations to come, spurring economic growth and long-term prosperity. Valet has worked very closely with our government. Aboriginal communities, local municipalities, and the Government of Canada on all aspects of its operations, including the processing plant. They have invested billions of dollars in construction and labour on this project. Since construction started, more than 33 million person hours of employment have been generated, with 80% occurring in Newfoundland and Labrador. This includes approximately 2,000 women and men employed at the Long Harbor site, 475 in Labrador at the Voices Bay mine, and 100 working in St. John's in a variety of engineering, project management, and corporate functions. Continued investments in the processing plant and employment generated by the project greatly exceeds the commitments negotiated as a part of the original agreement. Valley's Long Harbor facility will directly employ approximately 500 people when the plant is fully operational and provides additional job opportunities in plant support positions such as engineering, maintenance, and site services. Currently, over 90% of Long Harbor operations employees, employees are from Newfoundland and Labrador. Annual expenditures on goods and services to support operations throughout the life of the processing plant is estimated to be between $125 and $150 million. Newfoundland and Labrador businesses are given first consideration to provide these goods and services to Valley's operations on a competitive basis and to date have secured a significant percentage of the operation's goods and services expenditures. We want to acknowledge Valley's commitment to this project, 
and to the development of an underground mine at Voises Bay as their investments will help to support the provincial mining sector. And this underground mine will extend the life of uh, processing uh, from the Voises Bay nickel in a, an extra 15 years, which will be added to the life of the mine. I want to assure the people of Newfoundland and Labrador that the basic principle of the Voises Bay Development Agreement was always to maximize the benefits for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Today's amendment supports this principle. I want to thank you for being here. I want to turn it over to Stuart now as well to uh, have some comments on behalf of Valley. Thank you, Minister. Good morning, everybody. I'm Stuart McNaughton, the Vice President of Newfoundland and Labrador for Vale's operations. As you know from the Minister's comments, we've amended the Voises Bay Development Agreement in a manner that we see as a win-win for the province, for the communities we're part of, for our employees and for Vale. The decision to grant additional export cap allows Vale to continue generating income to support its ongoing investments in the province. It allows our operations at Voises Bay to continue unimpeded while Long Harbour ramps up and delivers its economic benefits and revenues to government at all levels. We requested the province allow us to export additional nickel concentrate over and above the current export cap. This additional tonnage will allow the Voises Bay mine to operate uninterrupted while Long Harbour is ramped up and while the plant's remaining impurity removal circuits are installed. Had the export cap not been increased, we would have been left with no choice but to stop operating in Labrador for up to 18 months and not resume normal operations at Voises Bay until Long Harbour was able to process larger quantities of nickel concentrate from Voises Bay. As you know, Long Harbour was started up last year using a blend of Voises Bay nickel concentrate and nickel mat from our operations in Indonesia. We chose to import this feed to Long Harbour to allow us to get early production of finished nickel from the plant. We will continue to use imported feed for the next year or so. When the remaining impurity removal circuits are installed at the end of 2015, Long Harbour will begin processing larger quantities of Voises Bay nickel concentrate, thus displacing the imported nickel mat. Newfoundland and Labrador is an important part of Vale's long-term strategy. We're very excited about our future here and we look forward to continued support of all of our stakeholders as we move forward. Thank you.